Rubina from rubinaart.gallery and today I'm going to be making um, part of my Planet Earth series 2A which is in impressions in watercolor and um, I'm going to be doing um, a set of four paintings for the Najib Plateau and I have my palette ready today um, I'm going to be turning on um, the camera for this paper and um, and welcome into my studio and welcome to my creative process I want to share it with you today um, okay so I will begin and I will ensure that this is also recording since I'm using two cameras for the first time today, so I just want to make sure that I'm not making any mistakes. So the Nadja Plateau is behind you. Uh, that was part of my Earth Series 1, and that's on oil on canvas. I will get up. Actually, I don't need to get up. So you can see it afterwards, or I can post it. So it's behind um, me at, at the moment, and I am... Um, drawing inspiration and motivation from it and I am um, basically going to uh, create another painting out of it called Impressions in Watercolor and it's, um, I'm, I have my palette ready with certain colors that I want to use. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do Impressions in Watercolor or I want to do Evolving abstracts but I could be doing an evolving abstract today actually so uh, that's how art is it keeps changing evolving and, and there's ideas that pop into your head and you want to follow them and sometimes if you have the freedom to follow them then it is um, worth the trip so I will go ahead and start painting just want to ensure that the cameras are on. Okay, so I will use this basic palette of light mauve, light pink, light purple, light peach, white, black, and cream. So I will begin with sweet strokes of peach. So I have peach right here. And I am going to use it. Today I'm making an evolving abstract from my Planet Earth series 2 and I'm going to share it with you today. I already have my palette ready and I'm going to turn on the other camera so that it focuses on this paper and um, I'm using that camera to communicate with you and I'm, today I'm going to share my artistic process. And, um, I want to welcome you. So I'll go ahead and turn this camera on. Just want to make sure that it's recording. So I am starting with a big flat brush and I'm starting with certain shades of cream, lemon, lime color and peach and 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 um, purple and turquoise, so they're all very muted shades that I'm using. I'm actually getting my inspiration from the painting behind me. Uh, it is one of the satellite images of part of the Earth, and specifically the Arabian Peninsula, and it's a heat image. So we are seeing underneath the surface of the Earth. And um, I'm going to use this um, peach 
peach color. I already put some strokes on, so just basically this is what the strokes looks like. Um, this is a flat brush. This is about about a one and a half inch brush. And um, so I laid peach, and I have like more a darker shade. This is still still this is still wet, and if I lay out another color on top of it, it's going to be wet into wet. So a little bit of wet into wet going on over here, but not that much right now because the other color had pretty much dried out. So anyway, um, some other colors that I want to use, what exactly am I doing here? Um, creating an abstract, uh, even I'm not sure where I'm going, but I have so much of it is is absorbed into me because I've been working on this particular um, particular painting, and I'm, so it's I've really internalized it. So let's see what comes out, and um, so I will go ahead and use a bit of mauve here, and uh, for that I'm going to grab another brush. So this is called a filbert, and I have mauve color here. So, using big strokes. And I want to use, I want to use charging colors. So I want some of that color to charge into the other, and I'm, Kind of doing the same thing as I did on this side. Uh, it is late, late afternoon, and this is Austin, Texas. Uh, my name is Rubina, and I'm here with you today to to make this painting right in front of you. And once it's done, it's going to be up on my website. And But today, I am sharing it with whoever is watching. I'm a little flustered right now because I was using my other camera and I was using an app and the app didn't work properly and it kept closing on me. So I just decided to just kind of like use my finger and touch it instead of the remote. So, because I wanted to use this afternoon to do this painting and I didn't want to waste any further time. So, if I don't like something that I did, I can always go ahead and make some changes. to use some fusion here today, fusing one darker color into the other, which is basically called color charging. And that's what I'm trying to do here today. Right? And I have some classical music on, because when I'm working, that really helps with my creativity. I keep checking that this is working. Okay, so... So I want to use some teal color here and, and for that I will use the brush that I had teal on. The teal that I have is extremely dark and I certainly don't want to use this very, very dark teal. I am blending it in into um, one of the white color of wells I had. And taking some of that color and, and, and transferring it into that. So, so I had pre-prepared the palettes over here. Not exactly the shade I wanted, but it's okay. I, it may be or it may not be, but I can always alter it a little bit. 
I like the way how the green is fusing with the purple and that's one of the wonders of watercolor and these things can happen on their own but you I'm also controlling a lot of it Today, by the way, is the 15th of October, 2017. And usually I'm painting, I've been painting by myself most of my life, but I've decided that I want to share it with the world, I want to share the process of how I make these paintings and um, inspire others to make them too because not only do you have a product which is satisfying but the process of making it is also very exhilarating. Okay, so I have some purple here. I want to use black. Let me see where the black brush went. Some of the brushes are Bach in the background and I'm a great admirer of Bach because there's a lot of movement and uh, joyousness in his music. I appreciate that. So here's black. I'm using some of this with black. If you look at the original painting, there is some purple and black, and some of that is coming out of that. Some of that is coming out of um, my time with this piece of work, and the way my mind and my conscience is reacting to it, and wanting to make something different out of it. I've done my realistic bit, that's a realistic image, and it took a lot of time and effort, and, but I also want to be able to create something inspired by this, create something which actually simply filters through my conscience, through me as a person, as a receiver, as a receptor of the image. And something entirely different comes out. So it's like you imagine me as a funnel and these this painting, this image, and my art process, and my art making process, and my creative process just went on for a while, and then eventually these abstracts are coming out with something that went through the filter, permeated through my, my being, and coming out from the other end completely different. I'm going to use some more mauve here. Some of it is fusing, some of it is charging into the other color. And so, I just want to know how you are doing this afternoon. You're up to. I wouldn't know, right? But here I am. I'm making this painting, this abstract painting, and I'm 
right here in front of you doing it. Let's see what else I want to do over here. Some of the colors that I want to use. Perhaps I want to use some, some of this turquoise. And uh, checking that the camera is still recording. And I hope that camera is recording too.